In our next interview, we're talking with some members of the Glance team. So let's start by uh, each of you introducing yourself and telling us what, what uh, organization you're with. So I'm Brian Rossmeda. I'm currently the PTL for Glance. Um, it's also the PTL for the, uh, the past cycle where we delivered hike release about two weeks or so ago. Um, I'm working for Verizon Wireless, so I'm a distinguished member of the technical staff there. And uh, Verizon, you may remember from the um, summit, the Boston summit in May, uh, Verizon had a keynote about edge computing. Uh, so Verizon's been a long time consumer uh, and supporter of OpenStack, but it's making a commitment now to support OpenStack by actually contributing upstream developers. Um, so that's why I'm here. Yeah, my, I'm Abhishek Kikane, and uh, I'm working for Entity Data, and I'm working as an upstream uh, contributor for Glance, and I have recently elected as a Glance Core. That's it. Yeah. Hey, I'm Arno Kubaya. I'm working for uh, Red Hat, and I've been Glance Core for I think since uh, Juno cycle ish. Yeah. And uh, I've been I've been doing uh, lots of reviews and uh, working as a stable liaison, release liaison for Glass team, and um, also been been part of delivering the image import. Uh, in our in meeting for the workflow, what we are, what we have on uh, on pipe release, and hopefully stabilizing as a as a production ready API for Queens. Now, as you all mentioned before we started recording, uh, Glance is one of the projects that we just we just count on it working. You know, you don't you don't want it to change a lot between releases. But having said that, tell us what happened in the pipe cycle and what you accomplished. So. I guess right near the end of the Okada cycle, um, we lost our team diverse affiliation tag, which, if you don't know, is uh, the technical committee assigns tags to various projects to so that people can assess the maturity and uh, health of the project. And one of the health tags is just how uh, diverse the affiliations of various companies uh, teams are, and we lost. We became overly reliant. Um, one or two companies, and we learned why that's uh, a good assessment of health because the companies changed priorities, and suddenly we had to scramble in the middle of the cycle because we lost a lot of reviewers and a lot of code contributors. Um, so, thanks to in large part to these guys here, we were able to sort of reorganize, revised uh, our priorities for what was going to be delivered in Pipe. We actually had a successful Pipe, um, and I think the uh, the main thing. Uh, oh, and as a matter of fact, we got our diverse affiliation back. So as you can see, we're all from different companies, yes. and we all contribute and collaborate on plans. Um, and we do need more contributors, even though we've got our diverse affiliation back. Um, it's you know important to continue to for companies to continue to emphasize the importance of stable projects as well as other projects. And in fact, you know we're stable, but we also introduced a new feature. Um, we've been, this one's been in the planning since Mikata, so it's, it's been a while. And it's the interoperable image import process that will allow clouds of all sizes to safely import, have, to safely have end users bring images into their clouds if they choose to do that. Um, and the challenge was to come up with a design that would be flexible enough, yet interoperable, so that you could, uh, it would be applicable no matter which OpenStack cloud you're using. Um, and Erno uh, delivered a large part of that. Um, and so we've introduced that as an experimental API in the pipe release. So what we're hoping for is to have some operators try it out and to get some feedback. We'll be talking about it at the Sydney Summit. We've got actually a couple of uh, sessions, one specifically on image import, and then the three of us have a session that was accepted about the Zen of Glance, where we'll talk about just various things you can do with Glance that you might not be aware of. So that's something, and then of course there'll be a Glance project update at the, the summit also. Um, so lots of opportunity for people to learn about the new stuff and also give us feedback because our goal is, as Erno had said, is to uh, finalize this API to release it as the current one in, uh, in Queens. So we're excited about that. Um, the delivery, is, it's, it's interesting, it's, it's good to try out. So what it allows you to do is it gives a different uh, 
different way to get image data into glass that allows the operator to examine it. So it basically, instead of the current um, upload, just allows you to put stuff into glass. So not all operators want to expose that because you have no idea what people are going to be putting there. So this new process allows you to put the data into a staging area where the operator has an opportunity to examine it to do. You can do various kinds of format checks and, and things like that. Um, just in how much you do depends on the size of the cloud, what your customer base is like, and, and things like that. Um, so we're, we're pretty excited. Um, it's, it's there, it's ready to be tried out. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah. so just, uh, just a little bit of addition to that. So what we delivered in Pike is pretty much MVP, minimum viable product. So uh, the, the whole discussion around the interoperable image import has been that we need to allow operators to define multiple ways how their end users can actually provide image data to glance. And, and uh, this, this staging, so direct upload, is, is basically what our current API has been supporting since the very beginning. And uh, the main difference is that we have that, uh, that task flow there, which, which is asynchronous. So after the upload is, has happened, the processing does not tie the end user, uh, end user's client to that connection. So we just uh, tell, the, tell the client that the importing has been started, and then the uh, user can, can actually monitor the image status and see when it has gone through all these steps and finally becomes active. And uh, the, one of the big things what was, uh, what was driving this is uh, discoverability of what ways the user has to, to do these image uploads. And uh, uh, we have, uh, on, on the current spec, we have still two other options as well. So one is that the user can provide URL and Glance will, will pull that data from that URL and process it. And this has been a, a huge request since we moved to version two API because this, this feature was known as copy from on, on version one API and it was kind of dropped out of the, of the version two. And, and the third one, what we have specif specified at the moment is, and it's, it's not in, implemented yet, is to use a Swift. So if that end user has uh, their image data already in a Swift cluster, they can just, uh, instead of downloading it to their local machine and then uploading it to Glance, they can just tell Glance, like, hey, here is a, a, a path to that, uh, that Swift cluster. Please go and pick it there for me. And again, the, uh, the end user does not need to sit, sit there and wait until Glance downloads the data and processes it. But it's, uh, it's again, asynchronous. So it's, it's a really a skeleton at the moment. And we need to get some, some meat around, around the bones. And that's a, that's a big push for this cycle. And uh, when, when we get that meat around the bones, uh, we hopefully can, can define the API stable enough that we can, we can promote it to production ready and do our current API, like Brian said. So one of the, one of the really high points of, of Glance and our releases have been we, we try to be as stable as possible so that we don't end up to the situation where where Glance is on the evening news because it breaks the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been lucky about that so far. So, yeah. But although by design. So we, we tend to be fairly conservative with changes. Yeah. So what, what's interesting about the interoperable image import is, as Erno was saying, it's the discoverability. So it'll be a client can discover what op, what um, options are available. available. So the, um, yeah, the interoperability comes with, um, we have precise identifiers that define specific paths that you can use to get the images in. And so the clients can, can read that and see what's available. So it's, the idea is that for interoperability, a uh, deployer won't have to make all methods available, only the ones that make sense for that particular cloud, but at least one would be available. And so that's, that's kind of the goal. And, and that's, that kind of highlights the importance of the diversity of team as well, because uh, we, we probably wouldn't be able to come up with these use cases and, and actually see what is needed in a field uh, if we focused only our specific own customer cases. But while we have this, this diversity and, and different regions uh, of, of operations, uh, we, we get so much more feedback back to the team 
and that, that really helps make the right decisions of the design and, uh, and get the approach that is, is acceptable and suitable for, for most of our uh, customers and end users. Yeah, so as both said, uh, we for interoperable, uh, we have uh, Glance Client support as well. So uh, it's easy to use those. And uh, internally, as Edna said, it uses task flow to uh, uh, execute that stuff. Yeah, so task flow is an OpenStack uh, project. Project, yes. So it's, uh, it's well known, and so it's should be easy for uh, people to use. Let's see how yeah. that works out. So you mentioned you're always looking for new contributors. Um, tell us where we would go if we wanted to contribute. Where do we find out more information about the project, and what kind of uh, what kind of contributors you're looking for? Okay, so that's yeah, that's a good question. We're looking for um, pretty much every kind of contributor. Um, so there's been a move recently to move the documentation. Um, into mm -hmm. the various projects, so we can we can use help. So we're all developers. We have various skills, and explaining things clearly in documentation. Sometimes we can do it, and sometimes we can't. So we could use help with people, even just reading the docs and submitting patches, or even just filing bugs for for problems. The other thing is, since the documentation was moved into our repository, the layout of the documentation probably isn't ideal. So even just things like filing a bug for, I mean, it'd be great if you can fix it yourself um, to, to move the, the documentation around so it's it's more accessible or organized in a, in a more accessible way. But even just filing a bug, pointing that out um, so that somebody else can pick it up can be really helpful. As far as uh, development help goes, um, a good place to go is the last week, weekly meeting. So it's at, uh, let me get the time off, is it 1400? It's 1400 UTC. Yeah. 1400 UTC on Thursdays. Yeah, it's, <laughs> and it's, it's on, on Freenode, Freenode IRC network uh, channel openstack-meeting-4. <laughs> but if you, if you go to the OpenStack wiki, you can, yeah. you can just, if you just Google uh, Lance team meeting, yeah. uh, so. it'll, it'll show up the wiki page, it gives you the basic idea, and then we keep the meeting agendas on the etherpad. So you can you could slap a topic on there for the general discussion. Just if I want to do some work, point me at it. Um, we're going to be doing a bug triaging uh, session. So this week is the uh, project team gathering. So we'll be designing and planning what's going to happen in Queens over the next couple of days. Yeah. But we set aside time on Friday, um, actually Thursday afternoon, to uh, sit down and triage some bugs. So we should have our bug situation should be in a better shape where people can pick something up. Also. There's a, there's a Glance Specs repository where we put in the design. Um, we, have an un, we have an approved but unimplemented section. Mm -hmm. um, and those are kind of small things that somebody could pick up and do if they wanted to, to implement a feature mm -hmm. for Glance. And we'd be there to help. I mean, it's Absolutely. so good. So you just show up for the meetings. And then, of course, reviews. So reviews.openstack.org. Just search for the OpenStack Glance or OpenStack Python Glance Client or store. OpenStack Glance Store. So we're responsible for three major repositories, and those all have uh, people will be putting up patches. So it's it's worthwhile having somebody take a look at them and do some reviews. And yeah, it's easy to review. Uh, like if new contributors wants to review, then they can go through the specs or the bugs, and they can easily review these patches, and that will be very helpful for us as well. Yeah. It's it's helpful for us, and it's also super helpful for a new contributor. Because that's that's a brilliant way to learn the code base when you review review changes that someone else has made that are supposed to fix some technical issue there, and uh, those uh, validating that it actually fixes the issue is is a perfect way to learn how the code actually works on on really deep yeah. deep down level. Actually, this is my personal experience. Like this is how I become a coder. Yeah. So I used to review. I used to learn from the previous comments given by these people. I understand those how they reduce the patches. I have followed that pattern, and I have implemented in that way only. So that is the is easiest way to do the reviews. And also, we are pretty well covered time zone wise on you know, on, on normal <laughs> normal weekdays on uh, on the Freenode OpenStack Dash Glance channel as well. Mm -hmm. So. If uh, if any new contributors want to just join and say hi, 
most likely some of us are, are online there and available to answer any questions where, where, where they can start and how, how they can get going. So we are, we are more than help, uh, happy to help out uh, anyone who wants to, wants to join and uh, just triaging box, uh, looking, fixing some low hanging fruits, stuff like that. We, we definitely could use that help and, uh, and it would help us also to, to put more of our time to make some of those bigger feature requests uh, happening on, on a faster time scale. Well, thank you all very much for your time. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, links to some of that information is down in the comment section down below here. And we look forward to having you join the Glance community. Thank you all for your time. Yes. And thank, you thank you very much. Your meetings. Yes, thanks a lot. Thanks thank a lot. you. Thank you. Thank you.